What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as we continue our Japanese playthrough. We are obviously conquering most of the British Raj. We now finally have a heck of a lot of resources, but I think our biggest issue is we are running out of dockyards. Basically the reason why I say that, well you know what, maybe we need about three more dockyards and then we are at full capacity. So I'm wondering... Do we really need this many? Probably not. I think our highest priority now is to basically somehow find new sources of aluminum and, uh, you know, continue to construct naval bombers because we absolutely are going to need those. So our goal now is we went after Midway and Wake Island. Here's Midway. Did we secure Wake Island? Yes, we did. <laughs> Which now means our number one priority is to obviously build some defenses there. We now need a level 2 fort. I need the biggest radar station. Mm, no, I don't. I need a massive radar station on this island, though. But uh, anyway, this needs to go to the top. Do we want any air bases there? Not really. Um, so I don't think we will. Where's my other naval invasion? What are we waiting on? Insufficient naval superiority in the region. So this needs to change. If we could take Midway, everything would be so much easier. Our entire fleet is around here somewhere, so eventually if we get into the West Emperor chain, we should be able to just move forward. And obviously, it looks like we're sinking battleships, so we're do whatever we're doing is working. Can we make our way over? You know what? Eventually, we're probably going to lack intel in like some closer areas. What are we waiting on? In the Mariana region, so that's our issue. Where is this? Here, so that's what it was. Do we have any new boats? This looks like a carrier. Yes, we do. I will send you to the Mariana region. I hope you don't get sunk. I highly doubt it, though. Yikes. We are fighting. Who are we fighting? Do we have radar? Not really. How do- oh, yikes. Where do we even find radar? We would definitely do very well having some very powerful radar here, and then I guess in the Philippines. Maybe Taiwan. I would rather have it in the Philippines. How is our invasion of Darwin coming along? 12 more days, and then we could finally send you on down. Well, we do have a the ability to set a new national focus, even though I don't really plan on doing... Uh, anything with synthetic oil, I guess it wouldn't necessarily hurt if I got 50% reduction. And, you know, it is kind of a waste. We have 500 army experience and nothing to do. Yikes. If I lose this carrier, yeah, <laughs> we somehow, we took out a battle cruiser, but they have carriers as well. I kind of want you to just retreat. I don't see any actual boats around here. We could lose a carrier and that would be horrible. What if we did this? What if I took these units that are somewhere? Strategic Navy. Let's take the Sunai Katsui, or however you pronounce it. And we don't really need to go into the Micronesian Gap, so let's hold. West Emperor Chain, Mariana, and the Eastern Micronesian. And I really hope we don't lose this vessel, but it looks like we might. But then again, we're doing a lot of damage. This is a level 3 carrier as well. Wow, are we really going to remove this threat? I hope not. I mean, I hope we can. I don't know how well this would work. They're getting closer to me or we're getting closer to them. We are waiting with anticipation. Here comes our actual fleet. And they have run away. So you now need to go home. That is my biggest priority. And our Marines are finally making their way over. If we could somehow secure this region, we would definitely own superiority over all of the Pacific. I mean, eventually we'll take Hawaii, and I would like to take this very small island, the Atu Island. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. We still need units gathering on Christmas Isle, and we don't have that. All seven of you can be added to our garrisons. We now have 30 units over here, and are you... You are a level 2 general. Let's promote this level 3 general and make him a field marshal. Here he is. 
And now we don't have to worry about having an excess amount of units. And once again, we are obviously just garrisoning only to protect the naval bases. And everybody else who lands is going to take attrition and we won't have to worry about it. Okay, we are pushing into the British Raj, doing quite well. Can we garrison some of these areas up? We probably can. And all we need is to basically attempt to lower resistance. I need marines. <laughs> I mean, all of our marines are doing a fantastic job. Can we take the island? I forgot about you. This is our biggest priority. If we could somehow take Midway, we would easily, easily build a very powerful force here. Obviously putting on some planes, putting on whatever we can, maybe a better naval base. We would make everything better. <laughs> I literally have no idea why this is working. But anyway, let, I mean, obviously the AI is stupid, but let's make this into a level three naval base. I need to get a level two air base. Oh, this, yeah, that's Midway. A level four radar dish, and I guess one anti-air because I have nothing better to do. And I guess two coastal forts. All of these need to move up as quickly as possible. And yeah, we are uh, gonna be doing quite well. And then eventually, I guess our number one priority is to get the air base up and running. Uh, and then we could basically secure all, all of the West Emperor chain. Um, and it's going to be a lot harder for the U.S. to uh, basically march through without taking damage. Well, I've got a lot of naval experience. I have a carrier here that is uh, basically repa mm, was repairing. I don't know where it went. It's probably this thing. Yes, it is. Let's march you on home to Hiroshima. Hopefully, maybe. It's probably, you know, doing... It sunk six enemy ships. It's probably in battle right now or something like that. Order ships to move to a selected sea province. I don't know why we can't move you. There it is. How is our invasion of Darwin coming along? British Raj has capitulated. I have no idea where my five ships are. They're probably this one. The West Emperor Chain. Let us go ahead, hold, and then search and destroy. We need to go down to the Timor Sea. Um, I guess these areas. And then, basically, once we have intel, we can send you guys on over. And then send all of our actual infantry divisions over to Australia and try to sink them. We have free military bases. Our number one priority is basically going to be uh, naval bombers. And the Mach 1, because it has better range and reliability. We need oil, and we need aluminum. Can we get any aluminum from anybody? <laughs> no. So I have no idea how to really get those. Uh, yikes, the British Raj has fallen. We do need to remove Free France. I don't even know what to do anymore. Well, now that we own the British Raj, uh, our number one priority, I guess, would be to get these guys. And then put you on, and I suppose garrison whatever the heck you can. The reason why is we obviously want to remove any oppression. The British Raj has fallen, which meant, which means we get a lot of factories, a lot of resources. Everybody's doing a heck of a lot better. I would like to remove Nepal. Um, let's do it, I guess. It would take 25 days. What about Bhutan? 85 days. I could take both of those very, very easily. Tibet will be mine. Um, and you know what? I am going to need this naval base to obviously build up radar. Well, this is going very well. We are going to have to eventually land uh, inside the Philippines. But I guess for the time being, if we could take Darwin, we now have a level 1 naval base. Can we make it? <laughs> bum, bum, bum. We have free dockyards as well, but we do lack uh, quite a bit of resources. Especially oil. Okay, here is our naval invasion. I suppose our number one priority is let's try to take this island, because it's kind of annoying to look at. 
Uh, no units assigned. All 24 of these guys are going to make their way down. And then one big, massive offensive line, I guess, all throughout Australia. I have no idea if this will work. What if we did something like this? What if we charged one side and did something like that and then activate? We'll see if it even works. But uh, other than that, we are still producing whatever we can. Free France has been removed. Uh, 48 of these units, you're going to be split in half, and then you're going to be the color yellow, and all you're going to do is just garrison all of this, uh, all of the British Raj, and only protect the forts. While you are yellow, I should have changed your color, there you are, and then these 24 will make their way to Nepal and Bhutan. Now I wonder, if we manage occupied territories, and we look at the British Raj, wherever you are, I would like to do Harshest because we get all of their resources. Um, let's do that. Dutch East Indies, Free France, uh, United States Territory, Australia. Yeah, whatever we take, that's going to be our plan. Now unfortunately, I'm guessing because it is going to be the Harshest and we take all of their resources, um, we are going to get some um, military police issues, and speaking of that, let's get rank 2 military police and see what we can do. 150 political power, let's improve our planes, bad weather penalty, air superiority, or night operations. Well, I would like bad weather because it seems to always rain, but, it prop but then again, uh, it turns night every day <laughs> compared to raining every day, so I don't know. But do we fight every day? I guess that's the question. Or do we even fight at night? I don't know. Free military factories again. We lack oil. Uh, I don't know what to do. We have some carrier fighters, some carrier naval bombers. We definitely don't need this many. Or do we? Yes, we do. We, have, we lack naval bombers. Um, I guess we could get artillery because I don't know what to build. And we need oil. But these need to come first. We obviously need our Midway naval base. We obviously need our... It looks like we already have our anti-air, I think. Where are you? Here is Midway. We have a level 1 anti-air. We have our level 2 coastal fort. We have our planes, which we absolutely needed. Do we have any actual... We have interwar fighters. Or better yet, we have regular fighters. Let's get 100. And I am going to want probably 300 naval bombers we don't have that many so we need to build more all of you are going to basically naval strike and air superiority in the west emperor chain and try your best to stay alive what are we fighting here naval battle after ah it's all the philippines that's what it is unread naval battles unread convoy battles let's activate these units take whatever they can we are obviously taking attrition, and we don't need to take this much. Are the Marines prepped and ready to go? No units assigned to this order. That doesn't make sense. No divisions. Zero transports. Still preparing. Okay, not as bad. <laughs> I was going to be a little upset if it went back to zero. But yeah, we have all of the British Raj. Um, this entire... Navy, which is kind of small, um, could potentially hold, get a new naval base, and try to just search and destroy in these areas. I have no idea how well this will work, or if at all. We have free factories again, but we lack oil. Uh, we're building one carrier, two light cruisers. I wouldn't mind getting another light cruiser, especially a light cruiser level 3. Can I upgrade it even more? Uh, better guns, yes. Can I get better reliability? No, because I've run out. But nevertheless, that is what we will do. We now have light cruiser level threes. Mach two is what we're looking for. Now you are actually going to be produced here, if it works. 
I don't know if we can actually put things inside enemy territory, and no, we cannot. So what do we own? All of our new ships can go to Saigon. Or can they? Why is this not working? It says Shigoku. Um, can we all... Ah, we can only put them in Japan. Well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, from now on, all of our ships that are basically constructed here inside Nagasaki are going to go to the south, or better yet, to India. Justification for Nepal has finished. We are going to wipe them off of the face of the earth. All 24 of these units are, no, not the right ones, the green ones. Need an offensive line. Just remove Nepal, because we can, and then activate when you are ready. They've joined the allies, but then again, uh, they are very weak, and it's a mountainous country, so I'm not even sure if that was needed. But, whatever. I don't see any real resistance. We are taking over Australia. Okay. Why are we not actually, yep, still, I guess, ah, we're paused. I still want to obviously invade what we can. Um, I do want to continue our naval invasions, which now means this guy needs to garrison here and our newly and beloved Midway. Can we produce any more? Yes, we can. All seven of you will go here. This Midway unit, I am very, very hesitant in moving them, but I think we are going to do so. I want the Atu Islands. Activate when you are ready. And I need my other Marines to basically try to secure whatever what other islands we can. Let's go from here to there. Activate when you're ready. It looks like it just takes so long. It's very frustrating. Can we produce one more Marine? I think we can. Nepal has capitulated. Field Hospital 2s have been unlocked. Can we get anything better? Probably. Uh, I guess we'll get better engineering, because that would be fantastic for everybody. Okay, I guess all of these green units are going to go after Bhutan sooner rather than later. All of these units need to now garrison up Nepal. We now need to deal with Nepal and make it harshest. So we aren't going to get any type of, you know, manpower, but we're going to get a heck of a lot of resources. Synthetic oil focus has been unlocked. Let us unlock advanced weapons, better rocketry, naval doctrine, submarine models, and destroyer models. All I really want out of there are going to be the naval doctrines. Yeah, we are still pushing, though very slowly. Can we go aggressively? Not really. I mean, we are, but it's very, very slow. Yeah, and part of me wants to just remove uh, the Philippines. Did we ever do a naval invasion? Ye mm, not really. Let us strike the Philippines. Activate when you're ready. It's going to take 35 days. And we are going to have to take these 37 units and basically garrison the Maldives so we don't lose it. And while we're building, I guess we can get a level uh, 2 coastal fort because it is very cheap. And we don't have to worry too much about it. I guess I guess what I'm saying is once I take over islands, I don't want to lose them again. The German Reich still has not declared war on the Soviet Union. We probably could strike Hawaii in December of 1940, but I don't want to do 1941. Not sure that I want to do that. We are obviously still building up our... Uh, oh my goodness. We're building up our radar, but we're trying to get it as big as possible. Are we are we researching new radar? Yes, we are. Level se uh, 75 days left. Taking over what we can of Australia. These guys need to move, like today. There's so many islands, it makes it just so frustrating. And obviously, once the Philippines are dealt with, everything will be a heck of a lot easier to attain. Yikes, we have some units here. Never mind, they are from Croatia, so we don't need to worry about it. We have 500 army experience and nothing to spend it on. We probably still need oil. 
And continuing our Air Doctrines, better fighter detection. It's going to be 20% better discovering fighters inside all of the ocean provinces. 11 more days until we can try to take the Marshall Islands. I guess my question is, are we still sinking? Wow! Sinking battleship and carrier and heavy cruiser. We are doing very well here. Obviously, we would do a lot better if we had even better radar. But, you know, we're building it up as best as we can. It might even be a good idea to get some radar here inside the Maldives. Um, you know, level 4 radar is pretty powerful. Like, it's going to get even stronger. Okay, anything that I can do. We are still building our level 1 marine, which I guess we could just deploy now. Because I have nothing better to do. Let's move you over here. And then you are going to be garrisoned here. If you don't make it in time, that's fine. Uh, yes. <laughs> Still taking over Australia. You're pretty much done for. Need an offensive line here. We now own all of the island, or better yet, we could just take... That's weird. No unit can enter. Who owns this? Portugal? Is that why? Yes, Portuguese territory. Well, once we take over these territories, I suppose we could eventually move and take over Lesser Sundra. The more territory we take, the better off we will be. Any moment now. There it is. Let's move you to there. Activate when you are ready. We're doing a lot better than previously. Though I would absolutely like to take Diego Garcia. And then maybe even building a radar station there. Resistance to occupation, which I'm guessing is Borneo. <laughs> So we need all of Borneo and this area. Okay, garrison you, garrison all of you. And we have 30 divisions, 21 are being moved. You all need to be garrisoned. I guess Australia needs to be garrisoned in time. Um, I, we'll, we'll continue moving whenever we need to. Do we need to garrison these areas? I, I hope not. Excuse When I say garrison, um, the reason why I say that is because we do have some garrison units over there. Not marines, but uh, we do have some very weak units that are going to be obviously giving us some suppression. All ten of you need to come here. And let's give you a new naval invasion order. I do want this island. And it looks like we don't have the ability to invade from there. Do we have any level 3 naval bases in the area? Probably not. And that's fine. I think what we'll do is we will probably go from here all the way to here. And then activate. I get that that's probably a level 1 naval base as well. And I get that there's people on the island. But it is what it is. It needs to happen. We are on the 4th of July, Independence Day, 1941. We've got a couple months until we're supposed to do Pearl Harbor. Hirohito speaks against Bhutan. And I guess we could eventually try to take Tibet. I have nothing else to do. And you know what? We could... Oh, I could take Iran. Look at all of that oil. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Justify war goal... Uh, against Iran. Ah, I need political power. I would like Tibet first, though. Here come some very nice synthetic refineries. We are trying our best. Here goes our naval invasion. If we could somehow take the very top part of this, we would definitely be fine. And we could even send our mountaineers over to do the rest. Okay, you all go here. You five go here. And then you three are going to go here and then attack from every single angle. But it looks like we might not even need to do so because obviously we have our, um, we have our artillery. Man, if I could secure Iran, 
we would do very, very well. Looks like the German Reich has finally declared war on the USSR. And surprisingly enough, they never took Finland or Lithuania. Uh, at least the USSR did not. We have a lot of unread naval battles again. Um, all of these planes could be annihilated. Yikes. This isn't working. It might not work. Uh, we'll see what happens. And it looks like we have no division, so I'm wondering where they went. What is happening right now? Okay, we need a naval invasion with all ten of you. And we do want to invade this area. Let's activate. I have no idea if it's going to work, but we are going to try. All we need to do is secure a port, and then the rest would be ours. Looks like we're winning. And all we need to do is just secure this side. And attack from every angle. Though, unfortunately, everybody is a little slow, especially with zero, uh, very little, uh, supply. Can we attack from every angle? <laughs> we are all out of supply. Bhutan has finally finished. Let us declare our war. Remove you from the game. And then I guess everybody could just move in like that. And goodbye. I don't even know if they have a military. Eventually, my, my next priority is obviously going to be Iran. Bhutan has capitulated. Though, luckily, 24 units should be able to remove this threat altogether. I am a little bit worried about the USSR. They obviously have quite a bit of troops uh, garrison on our north. Our synthetic refineries are coming along nicely. Did we ever take the port? No, we did not. Okay, we absolutely need to t assault this port and win. And you know what? We're not going to get it. Uh, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Can we grab... Yeah, we don't even have a port, so there's no way we can bring in more units. All of these marines might die. As long as we keep pushing, it might work. It says less than a day, but it doesn't feel like it. Oh my god, thank god. <laughs> Alright, well now we finally have some supplies. Giving, them, giving all of our marines logistics companies, which they already have, uh, would be good. Which they already have, so it doesn't matter. Any moment now. There it is. Everybody's organization should be going up. We are now going to give you an offensive line and activate when you are ready to go. Thank goodness. That would have been bad. We are attacking the Philippines from the opposite direction. All ten of you um, are going to need some units. What are these? Some light cruisers. And obviously they're light cruisers. It's the only thing I'm making. Um, can I move these units? Not really. Why is that? What are we waiting on? Hmm, I can't move those units. But I guess I'm gonna take these three, search and destroy, uh, here, here, and here. And I will remove them if I need to. They obviously have their planes. I have free military factories as well. I wonder how long that's been there. Let's grab... More naval bombers, because really, that is all I need. You know, fighters would be good as well. But, you know, it is what it is. Let's build more fighters eventually. And then we'll figure it out. Ace pilot promoted. Can we justify a war goal? Yes, we can. In 85 days, all of Iran will be ours. And the reason why that's so important is we obviously will secure about 90 oil. And I don't know if we're ever going to need any more. Um, nah, maybe about 60 oil. But obviously, that's still quite a bit. Let us go ahead and unlock better carrier organization, less carrier or overcrowding. They now attack better and faster, and they have better targeting, so obviously that seems very powerful, very important, and very useful. Finally, our marines are pushing on in, 
Advanced weapons have been unlocked. Imperial Glory. We can... Ah, no. Enables the dive bombers, but we can't do that. Um, I guess we will reinforce the Soviet border, even though we don't need it. Might as well make our way up and over, secure the peninsula. Do we have any actual marines not doing anything? You are taking this. You are supposedly taking that. You are moving in. Yeah, everybody's doing something. Eventually, these guys are going to be done. Do we? Are we out of supplies? What is this? Yep, 10 divisions. Activate when you're ready. There are no units assigned, and we lack sufficient intel in the Philippines Sea. Which is probably here. Yes, here. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Um, hmm. I wonder. Can I go into my naval map mode? Take this fleet. Hold. I want this, this, and this. And then these marines should be prepped and ready to go. Is the Atu Island going to fall? I hope so. They have a level 3 infrastructure. Only 20 people live on the island. But they do have a naval base, so obviously we will put that to good use. And there we have it. Do we want any more radar? Probably. Um, let's grab it anyway. Push you to the top. Let's get a level 2 coastal fort, even though we don't really need it. It's not very expensive. And all of you are now going to go back home. I don't, I don't even know where you're going to go anymore. Um, I guess we could try to go from here all the way to here. Where are you? Activate when you are ready to go. And I guess we're going to take these ships home once they get moved. Are these guys ever going to move? I hope so. And they are now leaving. Once they actually leave, I keep pausing the game for some reason. Everybody's gone. These guys, Japan fleet number five, will now head back home. I'm really hoping we can have some new units, and it looks like we do. We have a new light cruiser. We could put to good use. We are going to have another one uh, very soon as well. Well, we finally have our oil. We lack about nine more. We have a lot of steel. We still lack a ton of aluminum, which leads me to believe we should probably... Um, hmm. I wonder what our next our next goals will be. Obviously, repairing what we can. It says we still have resistance to occupation, which uh, leads me to wonder why they never made their way down. At least, I, maybe not. Garrison. This area. It says they're making their way down. Here they are. I wonder why they're not actually arriving. Why are they leaving? Do we ha are we guarding more than we can control? Yes, that's why. Well, then let's fix that issue. Deploy all 10 of you. Move you on down. And now we have 40 units and only 39 can actually do something. Fall of Kiev. This is good for me. The Soviet Union is pushing. And unfortunately, I think we are going to have to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you all have an awesome day. And I will see you in our next adventure.